In this video, I'll show you how to create audiogram podcasts and social media videos using WIV. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video content and you get value from what you watch, kindly consider subscribing. Now, I've already done a couple of videos on creating waveforms using Descript and also using the Headliner app. In this video, let's focus on the Wave app, and this is uh, more or less compared to like uh, the headliner application. So you can call it like a headliner versus wave application uh, kind of video. So what is an audiogram podcast or what is an audiogram? An audiogram is like what you see on screen. It is a small social media video that is categorized by a waveform, a progress bar, and some graphics of sorts. And sometimes it also includes subtitles and captions. That's the basic definition of what an audiogram is. And Wave makes that really simple to create. So uh, we can just check out what uh, some of the few samples uh, or examples of Wave podcasts look like. And this is just one example. Uh, you can just see the episode uh, and the text and a waveform down here. And then we also have a pulsating a round waveform here. Uh, and then maybe the speakers. Then we have uh, this one here where we have uh, the waveform at the center, the photo of uh, the person, uh, and the transcript down here and a good background or image at the back. So the classical or characteristics of an uh, audiogram is that uh, it's an, a picture, let's say a background, and then a picture of the other or the speaker or the person being interviewed. And then we have the waveform, and then we have the subtitles or captions. Uh, we can just scroll down slightly. Who uses this? It's for musicians, podcasters, radio. And also, if you just want to repurpose your video content into short videos on, let's say, social media, so that you can drive the traffic back to your video on YouTube or even to your website or even to the main page on your website to the podcast that you're talking about, Audiograms can help you achieve that to help you repurpose your content. So, Create audio posts formatted for any social platform. That's good. Uh, it's pretty good because uh, most of these videos are short, let's say a minute, two minutes, so that you can keep the attention of the viewer. Uh, if it can work on Instagram, Facebook, that's good for me. Uh, we can also check out, so you can get started with a free plan. Create up to one minute of video. So that's what we're going to do. So that's just the bare bones and we have a bunch of uh, waveform animations, progress timer to show how long uh, the video is or how long it's remaining. And then there's a drag and drop design and transcription and captions. So let's get started now. We're just going to sign up. So for the purposes of this video, I've already created the image uh, for the uh, podcast or even the audio that I'm working with. I have the audio. And I have the transcript, but Wave also creates transcripts. Let's just sign up. It's just uh, an email address. Uh, role, this is optional. What do you do? Uh, podcast for fun, let's say for fun. Let's call it Talking Spots. Uh, just click on sign me up. So that's all we have to do. And we're in. So we can just save our password. And this is the Wave dashboard. So welcome to Wave. To create your first video, you just need to do things. Our design and audio. The design includes a Wave, which is animated when you generate a video. And then you can check out Instagram, uh, the page that I'll link in the description below, uh, instagram.com forward slash get wave. Uh, for some inspiration uh, and you can create 60 seconds of video on our free plan. So you just have a minute to do that. Got it. So that's not a problem. And uh, our next month uh, begins uh, January 2021. That is if you consider up upgrading your plan. So here we go. Let's create a design. So we've got uh, the option to create your own or you can select a design that's available. Hmm. Let's say, let's select a design. So this is what this looks like, created with wave.co, select a different design. 
this is how this looks like let's just select this one no i don't think i like any of the designs they have let's say create your own I'll start with a template or from scratch templates are a good way to start off let's just say, uh, start from that so here we go this looks good and basically when you start creating your wave from a from a template uh, this can make you work really really easy let's say we go with this one i think i like that so there we go let's say upload our own image let's just go to and just click on it talking spots open it's uploading and the featured image uh, should be square so this is a 3000 by 3000 pixel image that I've created inside uh, Canva and you can check out Canva from the link below to support the channel so that's the image that we have and then the waveform let's say it's going to be yellow and then just click on generate template so once you click on generate template just give it a second or two for it to complete generating the particular image that you have so there we have it we have that particular design uh, and when we look at this it almost more or less looks like uh, the interface from a uh, headliner but it's different so there we have it the next step now that we need to do is let's say we can check out uh, adding a progress bar let's say we want this type and then uh, just move it let's say to the top Let's move it there. That looks good. I think I like that. Then just click on save uh, so that you don't uh, miss out uh, on anything. Mm, new design created. So there is the design. That's how the design looks like. And uh, you can always edit the design and uh, that's a tick. Now next up, let's upload our audio. Just upload audio and navigate to the folder with the audio click on open once you click on open it's a two minute 54 and time let's say one minute since they gave me 60 seconds zero zero so uh, that's good for me or you can actually even record one on the fly this is good if you wanted to zoom in on the sections you can do this and uh, that's pretty awesome but uh, since i think uh, we're satisfied with that we can just click on generate video so there we go it's uploading our file there we go 100% uploaded that's the audio file and then uh, we've got uh, our video processing uh, on this particular section it's video analyzing tag add captions etc so you also need to give it just a couple of seconds to see how it looks like for some strange reason i think i'm liking the wave up uh, compared to headliner up but that's just me but i think that all serve the different purposes especially if you're on the paid plans you have more access to audiogram uh, templates that you can use for your podcasts or social media videos so let's just give it a minute and it will be done so there we have it uh, it's just completed uh, and it's this particular video you can just title it change this let's say talking sports uh, episode one and then click on save and then we can just click on view and this is what it's going to come up if you click on play in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily fix the mono or the one channel recording issue that comes with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo second so basically that's how it looks like it has a uh, watermark uh, because it's the free option and you can either download or add captions let's choose the option to add captions let's click on add captions good news we can automatically transcribe your video click to get started so this is powered by subtitle uh, so it's a link between subtitle and waveform let's just create transcript and uh, we see what we're going to get feel free to close your browser tab and come back later now if you have a long audio that you're working with then you may need to close down your browser because 
Automatic transcription, although it has become advanced, it may take some time. So, let us see how Subtitle has automatically transcribed my audio. So, we can just play it. In this video, I'm going to show you... Uh, now, you can notice the text is here. Uh, let's just listen. How you can easily fix the mono or the one channel recording issue that comes with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Now, it's pretty awesome. So, English being a second language to me, or even a third or fourth, uh, I really feel that it's done a good job picking my voice. And I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo 2nd Gen. And the issue looks like this. It's pretty awesome. They all when you go to do a recording, and I'm inside Audacity, and I'll click on the record button. When I start recording, only one channel records. That is the left channel. Now, if I stop it... I don't think uh, it looks bad at all. It's, it's pretty awesome. We can just tile the captions from here. And let's say focused, minimal, outspoken. Uh, let's say minimal. We see what we have with that. Hmm, that is what we get. Outspoken. That's what we get. Uh, focused. It has a background. The minimal one. Maybe just at the bottom. Uh, and that uh, is what we have for the other one. Let's say we go with the outspoken. And then click on save. It's always important you save your project. If you're satisfied, let's just say click or create video. So it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome what we can do uh, with the waveform, and I think more or less I like it. And it's uh, pe uh, it's pending and it's uh, the captions, and uh, now it's potentially permanently burning in our captions to a video. What do we have under the more? You can edit captions, download or archive. That's awesome. So let's just give it a couple and uh, we'll see the results once we download our video. Once our video is done, uh, we can just click on the view just to see a quick preview of what we're going to get. Uh, we can just play it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix the mono or the one channel recording issue that comes with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Now the one thing that you'll notice is that uh, the waveform and the uh, captions appear the same section. I should have worked that out, uh, but it's no, uh, it's no big deal uh, because this is just a sample video showing you how to create audiogram videos for your podcast or social media videos using waveform. Once you're satisfied with your result, Let's say I had to make the edits and all that. I'll just download once I'm satisfied. Click on the download button and your video audiogram will start downloading. So there it goes. The only issue is that it's coming in uh, with uh, just some default title. I wish they just titled it the way you have it. Uh, you have titled it in the project. That would be awesome. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. So let's just check out uh, the file, open file. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix the mono or the one channel recording issue that comes with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. And I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo 2nd Gen. And the issue looks like this. When you so, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I wish this was also a two-liner. Uh, but always remember, when you decide to work with captions and the waveform and the progress bar, that's a lot of content in one image. So ensure that you create space for each and every uh, element that you're working with because you want the waveform to be visible to your viewers. You want the captions or subtitles to be easily readable. Uh, and also you may want a progress bar for people to know how long the file is. Uh, the faster it moves, the easier people will know it's, it's a short file and the easier and longer people will watch it to the end. So that's how you create a waveform uh, inside uh, the wave app. And uh, let's just close this. And finally, uh, we can go to the wave link. And this, uh, the wave link, is what uh, you can just uh, copy out if you wanted uh, to just have that particular waveform we created as a link and post it somewhere else so let's say it's a landing page and all that that's what you can do so 
uh, that's it from uh, me good to have you watching till the end and uh, helping you create waveforms if you like the video kindly uh, give it a thumbs up check out links in the description if you want anything here uh, and remember you can create uh, uh, podcast cover ads inside canva check out links below and also your audiogram podcast and social media videos using wave thank you for watching and until next time stay safe